Hello, and welcome to my YouTube video. Uh, I'm Local the Nub. I run a lot of abyssals in EVE Online. Uh, this is how you run a fleet abyssal with three nurgles in chaotic firestorms. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitch. I hope to see you later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Have a great video. My video. Hello and welcome to my video on Chaotic Firestorms with a Tank Nurgle and two DPS Nurgle. These fits can be found below on EVE Workbench. The big difference between them is this one has an Assault Damage Control, where this one has two Entropic Radiation Sinks. So please keep that in mind, and the fits are below. Here is us going into the Chaotic. So once we get in, the first thing you're going to notice is that there is a Charybdis in there. So we have... Mr. Cryptus. So we got Mr. Cryptus over here with four entanglers, a null charge, and four null wolves. The other thing to pay attention to is this is a blue cloud, this is red cloud. They are terrible things. Uh, the entanglers will slow you down so the Cryptus can kill you, and the null charge will destroy your cap. The null warp have no real effect uh, because we do not have micro warp drives in here. We have afterburners. That will not affect us in any kind of way. So we're going to get transversal. You can see that the Cryptus and his shots are from up here. We're going to go in at an angle so that we can kill the Entanglers and the Null Charge first. The Entangler will slow you down. You might take a couple shots to the Cryptus. He can be very scary. It's also why we're going to avoid the Blue Cloud for a little bit because he can hit you much better if you have that 300% signature radius. We are also going to grab the loot before we get to the Cryptus while we're killing the Scyllas. And the purpose of that is so that we can go back, straight back to the gate after the Cryptus is dead and not have to fly past it, grab the loot, and then head back to the gate again. That shaves off a good 20, 30 seconds and uh, speeds up the room a little bit. So we're going to go here. Watch these entanglers die. You can still see that all five of them are up. We're now down one. Uh, shooting different targets with the Nurgles is kind of key. Uh, because of the ramp up so they all ramp up dps and the the longer they're shooting things the more damage they do so if you shoot the same thing it dies pretty quick you don't get that ramp up we're gonna bounce off this but you can kind of see here the nurgle is not shooting at me right now he's shooting my alt so here's 60 billion worth of loot in this one room you have 20 minutes to run three rooms and that's a fairly typical amount of loot so Cryptus is now shooting at Locavol. We have remote reps on him. Want to make sure he does not die. He's kind of important. All DPS is, especially in the first room. And we are now killing these Scylla on our way to the Cryptus. So we're approaching the Cryptus. If you're yellow box, that's okay. If you're red box, that's not okay. He will hit you like a truck. So you have to keep an eye on who he's shooting. You definitely want the extra reps on who he's shooting, and you want reps on your tank when you first go into any of the rooms. All we have left are the Null Warp and the Cryptus. So this character is much closer to the Cryptus now. The Cryptus is now shooting me. So we're going to go in at an angle again. As we just want to get closer. Once we're in this range, we can orbit him because he's, we're too close for him to actually hit us with his guns. He's trying to hit us with battleship guns, and we're just in a speedboat racing around his ass. So this guy is going to work on taking out the last of the Scyllas, and the Cryptus is going to start being shot by my alts. And the purpose of that is, again, it's ramp up. This guy is ramping up his damage, and my alts are killing this guy. The alts are higher DPS. They can hit up to close to seven, 800 DPS per frigate, not counting drones. It's an extra 100 DPS if you have the drones that this character lost all of his. Losing all of my T2 drones is a 2 millionist loss. It's not that big of a loss when you're getting 60 million in one of these rooms. So it's not a huge concern. Now the Charybdis is shield tanked. Once his shield's gone, he drops like a rock. He has nothing left. So we got the last Scylla dead. We're going to shoot the Charybdis. 
And once he goes down, we're going to start heading back to the Worthy Gate, usually a little bit early. So he's dead. Back to the transfer conduit. we got to spend a little bit of time traveling there, unfortunately, but that's what's going to happen. It's a bit quicker if you're doing Hawks and Darks. You can see we have 5 minutes and 45 seconds used so far. You have 6 minutes and 40 seconds per room. If you're 5 minutes or quicker, you are completely set. You have no issues to worry about. So we're going to get there. Got to make sure my alts are close enough to go in as well. Right now they are. So I can go in fairly quickly. And off we go. 6 minutes, 20 seconds. We're above the curve. But it is pushing a little bit and into the next room. If you enjoyed that video more than I enjoyed wearing my glasses with lots of reflection on it, uh, that is how you run that room in Chaotic Firestorms with Nurgles. Uh, check out my other videos, which hopefully I've made by now. And uh, have a great day. Again, feel free to subscribe on Twitch and follow. No, other way around. Follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Fly safe. Don't fly safe. Fly fun. Lose your ships. But make some miss while you're doing it. It's a great time. See you later.